with Big Red Liquors, and today we're at a very special place. So this is uh, Cardinal Spirits. It's actually Bloomington's very first and only craft distillery. Yeah. You guys have been open for what? Just two months. Two months. Yeah. Uh, and this is Adam Cork. Adam is one of the founders, distillers, marketing manager, barmaid. Uh, you, you're probably doing everything at this point. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Almost everything. Nice. No. I mean, we have a lot of we have a lot of great staff. I just basically come here and hang out. Nice. So what we're doing here today is Big Red Liquors is actually the first retailer anywhere who's coming to Cardinal Spirits to make a custom gin. That's right, yeah. So what we're doing is we're taking botanicals in different forms that you've already distilled, right. combining those, and then creating a new flavor profile. So talk a little bit about your thinking as far as your gin process go to? Yeah, that's exactly, I mean, we, we start with uh, individual extractions just because that way we don't, we're not packing a basket full of an estimate of what we think something might taste like. So we extract, let's say, lavender, juniper, coriander, grapefruit peel. Those all extract at different temperatures in the vapor. So that allows us to control the flavor that's coming off. Right. So we create these individual jars and we take basically little eyedroppers and pull samples out of each jar into a glass and until we find the flavor profile that we're looking for. For somebody who's into like scotch whiskey, this is similar to somebody who's creating a blend from kind of finished component things, yeah. putting that together and then you're creating, you're determining what uh, botanicals you're going to put into the gin basket after you like the flavor profile. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's not, unfortunately, it's not like a linear like you know, if you've got 20% juniper, 20% grapefruit, whatever in this little blend, you do that exact amount of tannin in the basket. It's really just to get you started in towards the path to finding the right blend in the basket. So Big Red Liquors already carries your vodka, mm -hmm. which is your first product that's kind of your flagship. Right, yeah. And now you've got your gin yes. that's just coming out. Yeah. And then we're doing this custom gin. And then tell us some other products that you guys are thinking about. I'm sure you've thought of everything, but yeah. What's coming up next for you guys? Yeah, there's no shortage of ideas. It's, it's really just figuring out what makes the most sense for us. Um, so we do our vodka with a white grape base. We actually ferment everything here and distill everything here. Um, so it makes a really nice base for a lot of different spirits that we've found. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a couple different kinds of gin coming out. We're going to be doing some liqueurs based on the same base, the white grape base. So um, one that has like raspberry and six different kinds of flowers. Um, one that's like a coffee liqueur based on our white grape fermentation. Um, and then in the summer we're going to be doing a, a rum um, and we are producing whiskey right now as well, which will be available this holiday season. Very cool. So what, what about why you use white grape and grains? What, was, what led to that decision? Yeah, that was um, really early on, maybe you know, two and a half, three years ago, we all sat down and tasted a lot of vodka close to 100 different brands. Um, and it turned out that all, almost all of the ones that we all agreed on were made from grain. Yeah. Uh, we just really like the light, fruity, floral note. Um, and then the grain gives it the body that we're looking for. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we ended up with a percentage, and it's, it's a really high percentage of white grape and a little bit of grain. Nice. Um, just ended up being what we wanted. It's really no reason other than taste. Well, Big Red Liquors is really excited to be making the custom gin. We're looking forward to doing some other projects with you guys oh, yeah. a little bit down the road. So anyway, congratulations on everything. And, All right, cool. Uh, looking forward to tasting the finished product. Yeah, thanks. Man. All right, thanks. All right.